Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do lots of different subscription box unboxings here from home decor to fashion, beauty, bath, and everything in between. I love to unbox subscription boxes, so if you're into that, go ahead and subscribe. But in today's video, I thought it would be fun to show you how to um, how I decorate my apartment, specifically with my Globe In items. I think it's like 55 or more of you have signed up through my link for Globe In, and so I thought it'd be really fun to show you guys kind of how I've styled my items um, that I've either gotten in boxes, I've gotten um, in add-ons, anything like that, or things that you can get from the store. So if you want to kind of see my apartment and how I decorate it and how I've used a lot of the items, stay tuned. Um, and we'll start with my bedroom, then we'll look at my um, like dining area, then this area, which is kind of like my living area, filming area, and then we'll look at my sister's room. So we'll go ahead and start in my bedroom. This is just a quick overview of what my bedroom looks like. There we go. So we'll go ahead and start over here at my nightside table. This is one of their Gramercy trays. This is the gray one. They also have it in blue. The blue one has silver handles instead of gold. I love gold, as you can tell. So um, I picked this one. I think it looks really good next to my bed. I also have this Alafia hand and body cream in coconut vanilla. It's always good to have a moisturizer next to your bed um, that you can use to you know, stay moisturized right before you go to bed. Then none of my stuff over here is from Globe In, so let's go ahead and move over to here. I keep a lot of notebooks. I write a lot in notebooks, so I keep this little basket. I believe it's the Chindi bread baskets. It comes in a set of three that stack together, and I've just used this one for my notebooks, um, and I have other uses for the other ones. Then if I come over here, you can see the Bolga basket, one of the beautiful baskets from Ghana. And I keep one of my extra throw blankets in here, and that way if I want to change out this throw blanket, then I have more that I can throw in. So it's just a great place to store it. Over here, none of this is from Globin except for this right here, which is a mortal and pestle. And this one, I just don't have a lot of room to store it in my kitchen, so I keep it here because it looks cute. And then if I need to use it, I just take it into the kitchen. Then if we pan up... This here is a beautiful wind chime that I got, and I just thought that it looked cool. When I have the curtain all the way down, it looks really nice. It's hard to tell with the lighting right now, um, but that would just be that plain white fabric back there. So if we come over here, there are some more Globin items. The first one being this beautiful frame. I need to get a picture to put into it, but just haven't found the perfect one yet. I do have one of the Instax mini cameras, so I'll probably take one on here and put it there. Then also right here, we have one of the baskets, I believe this is made in Oaxaca, Mexico. Um, this is, I think, supposed to be meant for a TV remote, but I've gone ahead and just put my favorite lip glosses and some jewelry. This is from Globe In as well, this bracelet. Um, just things that I grab, may grab really quickly on my way to work or want to put these on my lips really quick, I leave this out here. And then behind it is the milk frother that we got in the brew box. I just put it back there for right now because it looks cute, but I'll probably eventually put some makeup brushes in there. I don't really drink coffee that often, so I'm trying to find different uses for those items in that box. Then over here, this plate is from Anthropology, not from Globe Inn, but these earrings are from Globe Inn. I think they're from Matter Boomy. I'm not sure if that's how you say the company name, but they're really, really cute. So I figured I'd just display them out here. And then if you come up here, we have one of their um, baskets from Oaxaca, Mexico. Inside, I just keep a couple of my, like I have like a hair bandana thing in there. Um, and so I just keep that in there because my color scheme is more green than blue. So at least on this side of my room. So that is there. And then let's go ahead and look in the other rooms of my house. So this is my dining area. And if we come up to the table, we can see some of the ceramics that I have displayed. The first one being these bowls right here in green. They have them in lots of different colors and you can get matching sets with lots of different items. I just chose green because I love green. And then also for ceramics, I really love the pasta bowls. I have two in this one, the other ones over on the other side. And then I have another version as well. They have lots of different ones and I just really like these. They are dishwasher safe. At least these, I haven't done the research if these are or not. I just hand wash them so far. This we received in the February box uh, masquerade were these where you can only drink cold drinks in these. But I also have the martini glasses that we got in the buzzed box as well. Even though I don't um, drink, you can use these for ice cream and anything like that. Or you can just put something cute in them, like a cute little plant. We come over here. I actually have this, which I got in a like mystery box for a Black Friday special. So I just have that here on this column. And then we will move into my living room. So this is where I film. And this is kind of what it looks like, just to give you an overview. 
of the space. So let's come on down here. This is their popcorn bowl. I think this was from the Cozy Box, I believe. I'm not totally sure. So I went ahead and popped a bowl of popcorn. I've had a few bites, but this is the perfect size for a full bag of popcorn. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous bowl. If we come up here, so this is a Jalsa. This is from the Middle East. In the Middle East, they don't really have couches that sit up. They have long rows of these on the floor. Usually it's not just one. They have it going across the whole way, but I just put one of them here. This here is from Globin, and this is just a pillow. I just love the pillow, and I think it looks really good in this space and with my Jalsa, so that's why I put it there. The other two pillows my mom made for me. I know people are gonna ask where this is from. It's not from Globin. It is from Anthropology, but it's just really cute. This, however, is from Globin. It is one of their little coffee spoons. I just put it there because I've made tea in this before, so I could use this for the tea, and I just thought it looked really cute right there. If we come over here, we have this recipe book stand, but you could use this for any holy book that you may read or want to put on display or recipes. I just put it here for now. Normally it's in my kitchen, but my kitchen's a disaster, so I'm not showing that today. Then I also put this teacup that I got in the tea time box. I believe now if you order the tea time box, it is a different ceramic tea cup, so just beware. But um, this is a really cute teacup, so I just put it there. And then I also have this little... Um, elephant that we got in one of the boxes and it does it did come with the moss when I got it in the box and somehow I've managed to keep it alive so that is the little elephant there if we go up we just got this garland the sorry garland in the um, masquerade box basically what I've hung it on let me come up here let me step here I've just gotten little command strips and just looped it around I haven't even tied it and it's holding itself so that's just kind of how I've used it. I don't know if I'll keep it there, but I just wanted to kind of try it out. It's kind of hard to see because the light is coming through. Then down here, I got this little copper um, watering can. I believe this was in the, in the same box as the elephant as well. I got this little, I don't know if it's considered macrame, but it's kind of like one of those macrame wall hangings. This was made, I believe, in Kenya and got it from Globe in as well. And then the last Globin item that I have here is another bulga basket this is the teardrop shape again i have another um, throw blanket in there that i usually use when i am sitting on the jalsa so this was my living space so now we're in my sister's room she has a little bit more of a minimalistic style than i do and doesn't have as many globin items but let's go ahead and come over to her nightstand where she has the blue gramercy tray with the silver handles this one is really pretty as well i loved it but her room kind of has more blues in it, so I thought it would look better here. Then we also, right here, have a You Are Loved little sign on the thing. I got that in my add-ons the other month. I don't think I showed it, but I gave it directly to her. And then, if we come over here, she kind of stores some of her stuff here. So, I've used one of the little Oaxacan, Oaxacan Mexican baskets as a plant holder. This plant is from Ikea. Um, really, really cheap, not a real flower, but I thought that that pink really worked well with it there. And if you come down, here I have just gone ahead and stored the um, brew mug and the little spoon. I, like I said, I really don't have a lot of space in my kitchen right now, so I thought it looked cute here, and she could definitely make her coffee in her room if she wanted to. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of my apartment and some of the areas inside of it and how to style the globe in items. If you have different ideas on how to style the items, let me know below. If there's items that I don't have from Globin that you just love, let me know down below if I should be getting those. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe I could consider doing this quarterly. Um, in June, I will be moving to a different apartment. Don't know what apartment yet. Still got to figure that out. But um, I'll be redecorating when I do that. So let me know if you want to see more details about that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.